Welcome to INE's AWS Route 53 Fundamentals course. My name is Robert Kuligowski, and I'm here to help you learn about Amazon's Route 53 managed DNS product. So you may be wondering, why should you use Route 53? What is it? You might be perfectly happy running your own DNS using Bind. One of the reasons is that because Amazon has a global redundant DNS infrastructure, it allows them to offer a 100% uptime SLA. Yes, I know how unusual that sounds, and for any old timers, a 100% uptime SLA sounds pretty unachievable, but AWS has the resources to back up that claim. A second reason is because of how easily Amazon allows you to manage your resources. And lastly, because Amazon's tight integration with their other product offerings makes Route 53 very powerful without needing to perform a lot of manual configuration. Even if you're not actually using VI to hand edit DNS server configuration files, why spend any time worrying about patching the operating system of your DNS server or wondering if there's a zero day attack that you're gonna find out about the hard way when for a very reasonable cost, you can let Amazon take care of those things and allow you to do what you need to do. I have a long background in computing and hold a Developer Associate and SysOp Associate certifications. I've been using Amazon's AWS products since 2011 in a number of capacities. I've deployed RESTful APIs, which are serving thousands of customers per day, and as an enterprise architect, I'm helping my company move hundreds of servers from our data centers to the cloud using infrastructure as code tools like Terraform. As we begin the main part of the course, we'll cover some DNS background information just to make sure that we're all using the same terminology. During our modules, we're going to review Route 53 in detail and discuss and demonstrate the following Route 53 capabilities. And it's okay if you don't know what these are now, that's what I'm here for, to guide you through the process of learning Route 53. In the course, we're going to use the various routing methods offered by Route 53. Simple, failover, weighted, geolocation, latency, multi-value answer, and geoproximity. I'll demonstrate how to use tools for managing resources in Route 53, like health checks, CNAME and alias records, and how to chain routing policies together for more complex scenarios. And we'll end with some modules on traffic flow, graphically designing complex routing policies, and export and import of traffic flow policies. Once you've completed the course, you will have a good understanding of how the various Route 53 options fit together so that you can deploy it in your own environment. If you'd like to follow along and create your own Route 53 environment, there will be some costs associated with obtaining a domain name if you don't already have one which you intend on transferring to AWS. In this course, I register a .com domain which will cost $12 and we will have some Linux and Windows instances launched to demonstrate what we're doing. Since those can be small servers, they won't cost much and you may be able to do everything in the free tier. There is an additional capability offered by AWS to allow you to graphically design complex routing policies. We'll be talking about that in our traffic flow module. The graphical design won't cost you anything, but if you actually deploy the design, then it costs $50 per month. But don't worry, it's prorated. Since we're keeping our costs low, we're going to use small Linux servers. In order to access them, you'll need an SSH client. If you're using Linux or a Mac, you've already got one available to you. On Windows, you can use either PuTTY or MOBA XTERM. I prefer MOBA XTERM and is what you'll see me using in the practical demonstrations. I'll also use small Windows 2016 servers so that I can use a web browser client in various geographies. I'll be using the built-in Windows Remote Desktop Protocol client to connect to them. On Linux and Mac machines, you'll need to download an RDP client. Now, you don't need to actually create your own environment if you don't want to. We demonstrate everything in the videos, so even if you're not ready to spend the extra money now, you will still have a great knowledge base for when you actually start working with Route 53 on your own. I hope I've managed to whet your appetite for the course. See you in the first module.